Hey, it's Christopher, aka the Bronze Age Nerd, and this giant box right here means I got something back from CGC. Let's open it and find out what I got. All right, so this is uh, my very first uh, pre-screen that I sent off to CGC. This is a 9.8 pre-screen, which means you had to send in 25 comics. And it's a modern pre-screen. And I have to confess, I know a little bit about this. I wanted to do this like the blind CGC unboxing style, um, but I did see part of the invoice for this, and I'm pretty sure I did pretty well, um, which, this is a big heavy box that tells you that you probably did pretty well. Um, so that's that's totally fine. Um, but my goal here was to try to go for 15 out of 25 getting encapsulated. If you're not familiar with how a CGC pre-screen works, um, there's a minimum of 25 comics you have to send in. And it's um, basically like they look at every single comic book and if they think that it's a 9.8 or above, they grade it and encapsulate it. If it's not, they reject it and they charge you a small fee for, for looking at it, but you don't have to pay for the entire encapsulation. So this is good if you want to send in something and you only want to get 9.8s back. Uh, however, it's worth noting, you can actually do this for any grade. Like you could say, I only want 9.0s back or whatever, that's, that's totally fine. Okay, so I know I didn't go perfect, even though this is a pretty full looking box, um, because I do have a raw books inside envelope here, so. Uh, at least one comic book did not come back encapsulated. All right, so there's no need to hide these and, and show you the, the blind grades. I know they're at least 9.8 or above. Um, let's start on the right here. And first we have uh, Wonder Woman Annual number four. And this is kind of sort of the first Yara floor. There are a lot of rumors that there's a, a, a character shown at the end of this that could be Yara floor. They haven't really confirmed that yet or not, but this book did see a jump because of that. Um, it's worth noting I did submit these back in January, so I've been waiting for these for a while. Everybody knows CGC times are really backed up right now, uh, but back then it was worth a little bit more. All right, that, that one makes me happy. This is uh, Strange Academy for the Nakayama Virgin variant. The magic cover, really cool. And awesome, we have Department of Truth. This is uh, the variant cover. This is the uh, Inyuk Lee variant, uh, cover D. Uh, so Department of Truth obviously has started to go up a little bit because we have a lot of rumors about it being turned into a show. So really excited to have that one. Let's see what we got next. Oh, this is cool. Uh, Green Lantern 48. This is the first appearance of Kyle Rayner, uh, who becomes Green Lantern, of course. Uh, this is kind of cool because it's a little bit of an older comic for, for some of the stuff I was submitting in here. A lot of ultra modern stuff, but got to go back in the, the catalog for one of these. Uh, also worth noting, none of the comic books in this were cleaned or pressed. So it was all stuff from my collection that I thought, hey, that should be, you know, that should be a 9.8 and I submitted it. So cool to see that one got it. Oh, you definitely have seen these. These are the uh, the Gleason Webhead variants for Amazing Spider-Man 55 from the Last Remain story. Uh, I submitted a couple of these, uh, so it's cool to get one of those back, at least in a 9.8. And there's the other one. Okay, so two, two of those came back. That's cool. Okay, this was pretty cool. This is a, a jock cover for Batman 100. This was... Um, the MCM Comic Con edition, and just thought it was a really cool jock cover there. Uh, the yellow, the black, and the on the white background. Really sweet. Of course, there's a moth in here now. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, sweet. This is a, a Daredevil 25, the Unknown Comics Virgin edition. Also cool to get that one back. And this is the first appearance of Elektra as the new Daredevil. What do we got here? Oh, this is cool. Um, so this was the uh, the Harley Quinn homage for punchline number one. Uh, I think this was Zerdy. Yeah, Nathan Zerdy. Um, and I think this is also the origin of punchline two, uh, but they don't put that on the label. So anyways, really cool to get that one back. 
All right, guys, we're still going. Got a lot of them in here. That's a good sign. Uh, this is the Punchline 1, 1 in 25 design variant. Neat. And, oh, that's cool. This is the Kyle Hotz uh, Juggernaut number one um, uh, virgin variant. Um, kind of that, that amazing Spider-Man 300 homage, of course. And this is the first appearance of D-Cell. What do we got next? Oh yeah, yeah, Gwenum versus Carnage, uh, number one. This is the, the Face It Tiger uh, cover, that in the word balloon there, that's pretty cool. And uh, it's the KRS Comics Edition. I actually didn't know that. I think this one um, I picked up, I wanna say from Comics Elite, but must have been a shared variant. Still going guys, uh, looks like we did really well. Oh yeah, this one's a big deal right now. Uh, Spider-Man Unlimited number one. This is the first Shriek. Very cool. A lot of uh, Venom 2 spec around this one right now. Very happy to get this one back into 9-8. And what do we got here? We have... Oh, this is the uh, the Chadwick Boseman uh, Spawn 311 homage. This was the uh, sketch cover version. And uh, definitely a very powerful cover uh, with the sad passing of Chadwick Boseman. So happy to have this one back in a 9 too. And, oh, this is cool. Uh, Snake Eyes Dead Game number two. This is the action figure variant, the convention exclusive. Uh, just really, really awesome. I'm a big Snake Eyes fan, so this is a cool one to get back. I also submitted uh, number one as well. Oh, there we go, number one. Uh, so yeah, I got the matching set now. One and two for Snake Eyes Dead Game, both action figure convention variants. All right, so that's a uh, Star Wars High Republic number one, the the Yoda variant um, by Hans, where you got Yoda and uh, Avar Chris. Probably gonna be some more Star Wars High Republic in here. Yep, the A cover. All right, sweet, another Star Wars High Republic. This is the variant, um, the B cover basically. So that's cool. Do we get more High Republic? Same back. Yep, another High Republic A cover for number one. And, oh, this is cool. This is the one per store uh, X of Swords creation number one. Uh, that was very cool. This is actually the first appearance of the original Horseman of Apocalypse too. So if they come back, expect us to see a bit of a bump. Okay, looks like we got three more left. Uh, oh, Venom 29. That's the uh, the black and white uh, null cover there. Two more. All right, Undone by Blood number one. That's really cool. This is going to be a, a, a Norman Reedus production pretty soon. Very cool. All right, what's the last book in here? Uh, oh, Thor 8. This is the Alex Ross Timeless variant. So... That's pretty sweet to get that one back. And I think I know which book came back raw now. Yep, after a quick count, we are at 24 graded books. I knew it was a lot, that's really good. So that means I went 24 out of 25 on my first CGC pre-screen. And uh, I also know what's in here because I remember a book I was really excited about. And ironically, this is the book that I was probably the most confident uh, that it was a 9-8 and they didn't agree, so. Let's see what I got here. It is X-Men 4, first appearance of Omega Red. So it's definitely interesting. I, I was pretty confident that this was a 9-8. Um, looking at it, um, again, I kind of wonder if maybe one of the corners didn't get a little messed up during shipping. Don't think I'll really be able to show that off very well, but there is a bit of a, a burr on the corner here. Um, but. This was a newsstand, so I was pretty excited to see if this came back. I think if it's not a 9.8, I think it's a 9.6. So I might just submit this and see what kind of luck I get on it. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, this is a disappointing one. I would have really liked to have seen it come back uh, in a 9.8, of course. But considering that I got 24 out of 25 on my very first pre-screen, that's amazing. I, I can't believe that I did that well. Um, I, again, I expected to, well, I hoped for 15 or better out of 25. So 
I'm absolutely stoked about this uh, this result, and uh, hopefully all of them are that good, even though that's that's pretty good. Uh, uh, really happy to see that come back, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed following along for this unboxing as well. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever done a, a pre-screen, how well you did with CGC. Uh, I'm really curious about that. And uh, I do have another one off at CGC now for a 9.6 pre-screen. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting, mostly because of the price changes they did. It just made more sense to do a 9.6 in my opinion. And the comics I sent off were still kind of worth it in 9.6, so why not? So that'll be kind of an interesting experiment. Uh, so that's the next one you have to look forward to. And thanks for watching this one. I just want to remind you guys, as always, hey, 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 hey. Read comics every day.